Our favorite MTV star has an update. Well, we're back with three WTFs, our favorite type of video here on the Gasocast. And we picked three really good WTFs tonight, I think. Actually, we were sort of just sitting here wondering what we could record. <laughs> And we just put these together. We just started picking around on the internet, but we actually did find three good things to talk about. Yeah. First thing, do you want to jump into the MTV guy or do you want to wait? I don't know. I think that's lots of laughs and I need to like compose myself. So let's do like the other stuff first. Our first WTF is about Faceted Funko Pop. So today, the Iron Man Faceted Funko Pop dropped. What the fuck? And nobody cares. I don't know of anyone who actually bought this thing. Uh, I don't know. So remember a few weeks ago when this was going to go up for sale and you said you were going to buy it because you love Tony Stark and you also were interested because it was a team up with Vivi and we had never heard of Vivi before and you just wanted it even though you hate golds you for whatever reason wanted an oversized stupid ass gold and then remember when you decided that you hated me more a couple weeks after and you bought another one and you claimed it was because you was didn't think it was real i pushed a button and you put it in your cart it was black and friday you i was check confused out, and then you click checkout and you bought it on accident when really it wasn't on accident it was on accident you don't just to... go through an entire fucking checkout process on accident i wanted to see if it would work well it did and now you got another dumb 18 is this 18 inch 18 inch gold figure it looks like <laughs> no it doesn't it does for 150 dollars is stupid so you're telling me you're okay with spending 150 dollars on this but you can't buy a 15 dollar faceted funko pop that's a what wtf stupid i hate to break it to you heather but this is going to one of our lucky patrons on patreon when we do our live patreon zoom call one lucky person One lucky patron is going to win this thing. <laughs> you know, that's another what the f I I mean, <laughs> look, video's over. How what many the f faceted? What the f You bought another one of these and what the f you're actually giving one away thinking that it's a prize. How, how many patrons are we going to lose out of this? All of them. <laughs> they, like, the person who receives this is going to be pissed. Well, it is limited to 1500 No, so, it's 3000 No, no, I think this one's 1500 The common's 1500 I don't think the limit matters on these it pieces does. of shit. It's a gold. It's 1500 patrons. One lucky patron is going to win this thing. It's 150 bucks. Come on. That doesn't mean that it's a good investment. But it's gold. It's like gold. Can we talk about the Fasted Funko Pops now? Yeah, what about it? It's better than that piece but go ahead. Go ahead and pretend that's a better WTF than you accidentally buying a $150 gold. The Fasted Funko Pops are absolutely terrible and they keep making them. So are you. I was going to make a really f***ed up joke, like really bad, but I'm not going to do it on camera because you're going to use it and go it ahead. would like make me out to be a monster. What would you say? Are you mad at Funko for making the Faceted Pops? Yeah. Someone made you. Wow. <laughs> you know, my mom and dad are watching this, I'm sure. So you're saying the Fasted Funko Pops are better than me. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I think you do. It's no, pretty evil. I love you and I'm Don't so, touch me. No, don't touch me. I'm so happy your parents did the deed to make you. Oh, sure. Let's talk about Fasted Funko Pops. Okay. Because that's what this is about. Yes. Not about how you wish I was never conceived. I didn't say that. You said something very similar. No, I, I never so said that. So let's get back to the topic. A topic that's less hurtful than your previous statement. Fasted and Funko Pops are f***ing trash! And I cannot believe that they're continuing to make them. Although, I think they had a lineup that they were going to make and once they're done, this like lineup or whatever they already had set up, that's it. I think they're going to cut them off because you know for a fact they're not selling. I think that pretending to accidentally buy a $150 gold figure Are you going to make me trash! live with it? You're going to make me live with this for the rest of my life now? Is yeah, that what we're going to do? I got to live with you for the rest of my life. You don't have to. You're not handcuffed to this. 
I signed a piece of paper. What's that mean? I can sign all sorts of pieces of paper. I still get out of it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. Peace out. Where's the paper shredder? <laughs> so do you like the Facet Funko Bops? I like the idea, but I don't like the execution. We talked about this. The Butt Stallion was really great. The Butt Stallion was amazing. And if the Faceted Funko Pops looked like the Butt Stallion did, I'd be all in. We'd be all over it, right? Yeah. I was really excited to see the Minnie Mouse one. I think that was the first one, was it? Garbage. Minnie? I loved it until I saw it in And person, it looks like <clears throat> trash. It I, looks know. What's I know. I know. What's happening here? The glams were so good, though. I was like, oh my God, this is going to be great. And then Funko disappointed me. The reason why it's not that great is mainly because Funko, mm -hmm. they're not putting the type of effort or money into the Funko Pops anymore. I don't even think it's effort. I feel like it's a cheapskate move, which is why they look like crap. They're being really sh They could be good. Not sh**ier than you after what you just said about me. You didn't oh, want me to be alive. Stop. Wow. I never said that. You said something like that. I, did you guys hear that? I love. Comment down below. I loved that you were conceived. Painfully evil. Painfully. I love that you're here because I love to annoy you. And I love even more when you smell the farts. Let's talk about WTF number two. Funko decided that faceted Funko Pops were not enough. They wanted to bring some really crappy Funko Pops back, and they did, and I bought one. Why did you buy it? <laughs> Just like everything else. I always buy the things that no one else wants. Sort of like me when I married you? I didn't buy you, <laughs> because that would be considered like illegal. Your <laughs> farts are gross, and I'm really getting tired of them. <laughs> For real. Like, that's disgusting. <laughs> this is gross. You make it feel like a barn. <laughs> Let's talk about the, the worst Funko Pops ever made being brought back to life for no reason at all. Is it my part? No. But I think the reason why they're being brought back before I show it, the X-Men show, 1997, is coming back. Oh, it's not because Funko hates us? We're getting the pixelated Funko Pops again. 8-bit. Or 8-bit Funko Pops all over again. I am so shocked that they even decided to do something like this. They made a Magneto and a Jubilee. And, and at the bottom it says collect them all. Why wouldn't it just say collect them both? I don't know. But I don't know if there are more than just these two I or what. I hope not. That so, would be uh, like a really f***ed up joke. So for those who weren't collecting that far back, we did. And in fact, GameStop had a box that were all 8-bit Funko Pops for yeah, a Black Friday, It was remember? a Black Friday box, yeah. Yeah, so they had a Black Friday box and that was sort of at the height of them making 8-bit Funko Pops. And at the time I thought, they're not bad because it was sort of going back to like old video games and stuff like that. Yeah, but then they started making shit that was completely unrelated to video games and then it got weird. Remember they made the Mega Man? Like that was cool. The Mega Man was all right. Yeah. And then they did Freddy and Jason, and those were from a video game. They were okay. But then they started making other s Predator or something. Or oh, or yeah, something. they did make a Predator. We'll yeah, but they were it. doing a lot of, like, 80s related things in 8-bit. I, I don't know why. A predator remember, was a video game in the 80s, I guess. Remember when they did the Stranger Things ones? And, like, I oh, get that's it. that's right. I forgot about because that. Because it was, like, 80s, but it's not like there was an 80s video game. Oh, my God. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at this cape. It looks like a brick wall. I really hate that I like him. Yeah, I actually like it. So I feel like me talking all that crap prior to pulling it out of the box, I feel like I regret a little bit of that. A lot of the 8-Bit Funko Pops are like really heavy. They're yeah. not bobble because I have a Predator that is not a bobble. Well, this is Marvel though. Remember? I know, but the Predator is like a brick. This is a little bit heavy. If his head were like as heavy as the other ones though, he'd be super duper heavy. You know who else says heavy? Martin McFly. That's from the 80s also. What do you think of that? Wait, did they 8-bit Marty McFly? They should have, but they didn't. They shouldn't have. So this is Magneto from X-Men 1997. They're going back and they're making a sequel series to yeah. the show that was on Fox back in the 90s. And the original Wolverine is playing Wolverine. That's right. Did you know that? And we met him. Yeah, we did. And he signed our Funko Pop. Actually, a lot of the original voice actors are coming back mm -hmm. for the television show. How great is that? It's going to be on Disney+. Plus. Disney+, Plus should be paying me. They should, but they won't because they're f***ing Disney. So 8-Bit Funko Pops weren't very popular. People didn't give a shit about them. Well, they did when there were chases included in those black light boxes. Yeah, but they cut that off real fast. Mm. But now we're getting them in 2023. They made the 8-Bit Funko Pops like five years ago, right? Yeah, something like that. That is unbelievable that they decided to bring them back. But maybe it's just for this very special reason for X-Men 97. With Funko. <laughs> hopefully hopefully that, they don't go all true. out. But I don't mind this one. 
So this one isn't so much a WTF, but more a, well, that's cool. I think the WTF is now the fact that we sh talked them, but we actually sort of like them. But then we're gonna be eating our words when they make like 50 more. Okay. So the last WTF is very interesting. It's a follow-up to the video about the biter. Oh, the MTV biter. Yeah, the back biter. I don't think he just back bites. I think he bites everything. Yeah, Except he, for the genitals. No, he said he doesn't, but he does. What do you, what, no, 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 don't say that. That's allegedly. So you'll believe that he's not biting genitals, but he was also trying to convince people that his friend Lizzie Olsen was signing pops. I'm saying that I don't believe any of it. So he's a liar. Well, I don't know. Well, allegedly, because maybe he knows Lizzie Olsen. We he have doesn't. no proof. Well, we have that proof hit. that he photoshopped himself in <laughs> Definitely doesn't. That, that's not, I'm taking allegedly away from that. Oh, he said um, in his IMDb page that he's, <laughs> hold on. So he put on his IMDb page that he has an unknown role in Avatar The Last Airbender, what? which is coming out in 2025 in theaters. Wait a minute, Avatar Last Airbender, that's supposed to come out like on TV, I thought. It says in like, theaters October 10th, I thought it was a Netflix special or something. A according to Who knows what the hell this guy's talking about. But yeah, he's the only person in the cast. Oh my God. Yeah. What I came here to say is he updated his Instagram bio to say MTV reality stuff. Oh my God. Yeah. The only reason why I'm saying that is because that video was passed around. So I noticed it. It got passed around the Funko community. So now he sort of is known for that because even we made a video about it. Well, yeah. So I guess you could call him MTV reality star. I wouldn't call going on MTV and saying that you're biting people's backs to make money and you hid it from your boyfriend is very star-like behavior. I think that's weird. He should have put MTV reality weirdo. Somebody left a comment on our video about that. The person in the MTV show saying that they were his boyfriend really isn't their boyfriend? No. So I heard that he is, but he's been around and worked at the shop Oh, okay. for a long time. And on top of it, and I don't know if this is true, but apparently Nick's brother works in the shop. So the fact that he was be being hidden like from his family is is bull MTV yeah. reality star and Avatar Last Airbender. Yeah, we can't forget that. That's very interesting that he even the put that on there. The only actor. Maybe he's making the well, film. Have you thought about that? No, there was a director's name. Her name's like Lauren something. Well, she found him because she he have. she gets backbite massages. Yeah, that's hey, um, so I'm an aspiring actor. She got a couple of chews. My chews changed our whole life. I gave you a couple of chews, you married me. You're right up there at the altar. Listen, that's not why I married you. Why'd you marry me? And not because of that. Well, name it. No, like I really don't have a reason. I think oh. I was drunk. <laughs> I thought you were hiding something. I was like, what's your reason? And it's I be love you. That's the reason? Yeah. I don't know about that. Well, I used to love you. <laughs> Now living with you for this long, I don't know. I'm having mixed well, feelings. Well, you did say earlier in the video, you wish I wasn't born. Guys, what do you think about all the WTFs that we talked about right here in this video? I think this is a pretty good WTF video, even though we came up with it in like five minutes. Worked out pretty good, what do you think? Do you think we did pretty well? I all things considered, I mean, Heather basically wore me around like a sombrero the whole episode, but that's fine. I love you. Sure you do. I really do. Yeah, sure. Uh, do you think Heather loves me? Tell me in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Simon Holden, Chris Haskell, Sam Studley, Aussie Pop and Paul, Rob Smith, Erica Woods, Kevin LeFranc, Giuseppe Grioli, Carlos Q, and Patricia Hurtock. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. And thank you for staying until the very end of the video. We really appreciate all of your support. It means the world to us. Please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, also hit that little bell. That way you'll know anytime we go live or post brand new content. We post new content every day and we go live every Sunday between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern. You don't want to miss out on that. Check out our toy company, MischiefToys.com. We have a bunch of awesome things coming your way very soon, so make sure you sign up for our newsletter on MischiefToys.com. And also follow us on Instagram at MischiefToys. And while you're at it, follow the channel on Instagram at GasselCast. 
And if you want to support this channel a little bit more, check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash to find out all the ways that you can support this channel. In return, you get a monthly Zoom call where we do giveaways, we show you upcoming Mischief Toys items, and all sorts of fun in between. So come and join up patreon.com slash We will see you guys in the next one. Oh.